Hi, Garrett Miller here of Air Rifle Evolution. Welcome to my fourth video in a series of five videos on how to improve my accuracy. Just having a basic look at accuracy. In my previous video, I had a look at how important it is to hold your rifle exactly the same way all the time. Remember, the buzzword is consistency. In today's video, I am looking at sight picture. In other words, what you see when you are aiming your gun, whether you are using a scope or whether you are using open sights, the basics still stay the same. And today's video is again one of those that is easier demonstrated than it is just to tell you about it. So let's have a look at, um, at my first close-up. All right, so guys, this is the close-up and I thought I would quickly start with um, the scopes. Uh, for those of you who do not know scopes, this is what you will see when you look through a scope. And if you think this, these are the only options available to you, you're in for a huge surprise. Um, the amount of reticles available to you is basically limited to your own imagination. If you think this one is complicated, well, you're in for a surprise. You get more complicated ones than this. Um, I am going to use this duplex now, now as an example. You will see I've got a little bit of a, a, a duplex scope here that I want to use to explain something to you now, now. So if you want to have a closer look at what kind of scopes is available, quickly pause and then have a look. You're also uh, more welcome to Google what the reticles of the scopes look like. And while I'm at the scopes, let me just say, I'm going to use certain terminology. So the circle you see around the cross, the big circle, I'm going to call the body of the scope. And then uh, when you look at the crosshairs, that is exactly what we call them. We call them crosshairs, right? And then you will see this one has little lines on the crosshairs. Those are called mull dots and even sometimes half mull dots, depending on how many lines you have on your vertical or your horizontal crosshair. So the next close-up I want to show you is actually of open sight. Uh, Garrett, there are two A's and two B's and two C's. Uh, sorry, gentlemen and ladies. Um, I, uh, I made this one a little bit bigger than, than this one just to explain a little bit easier. But these are plus minus and about the open sights you can find. Uh, I am a big gamo fan. So this is the open sight that I know some of the gamos use. And this is also the open sights I'm going to use to explain to you how to aim and how not to aim. I've, I've printed myself a little bit of an open sight thing like this in order to explain to you now now about sight picture. Garrett, what are these gray dots at the top? Well, those are your targets. But I'm going to say something more about that because you don't always have to have your target there. Remember, accuracy equals consistency. Whether your target touches the red or your red is halfway into the target, that is up to you. That is, are you comfortable with your side picture? And if you're comfortable with the side picture, you stick to that side picture that works for you and make sure that it is consistent the whole time. So guys, here we are at a target. Garrett, what are you talking about when you talk about um, um, sight picture? Well, I'm going to start with my open sight. Remember I said to you, I'm going to use this open sight to demonstrate. Garrett, what do you mean by consistency? Guys, consistency is as follows. Every time I squeeze the trigger, I need to make sure that these gaps are exactly the same. I have to make sure that the line between the front sight and the big rear sight is 100% correct before you squeeze the trigger every time. And once you've got your sight picture absolutely perfect, you then need to train yourself to complete your sight picture 
exactly the same way every time, including your target now. Some guys prefer to, like what I did here, have my front sight just touching a nine or the, the, the bull. Some guys are saying, no, 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 no. I want, I want to see a little bit more of a gap between, between my front sight and the, the orange circle. Other guys will say, no, no, no. I prefer to my sight picture to look like this. Guys, whatever makes you happy, whatever you are comfortable with, use that sight picture. But make sure that the sight picture is always the same. The gaps between the back side and the front side, these gaps, are always the same, etc., etc., etc. Unfortunately, I have a printed piece of plastic that I'm using. So some guys will, for instance, this is the front side, they will dip the, front, the, the top of the front side to, let's say, half thereof, half of this U shape. Because it works for them. Some people will shoot at this target where the red of the front sight is barely visible in the U of the back sight. For various reasons. So again I say, make sure you are consistent in what you decide. So, if you're not using open sights, obviously you have... A scope and this is my scope this is what I see when I look through my scope but the same rules still apply is that you have to be consistent in using your scope so most important when using your scope is that your horizontal crosshair needs to be 100% horizontal remember Pellets and air rifles do not shoot at a blistering pace. They are usually running anything from 650 feet per second to, let's say, 1,100 feet per second. So when the bullet leaves the barrel, it starts arcing down. So the bullet travels at a loop. Obviously, at different distances, your bullet will have a different impact. So if you accidentally do not have your scope 100% horizontal, you might have it turned a little bit like that. Your bullet is going to change its impact point at different distances. If I'm shooting a little farther away, my bullet will most probably hit somewhere over here. If I'm shooting a little closer, my bullet will most probably hit over here. So one of the biggest issues with the scope is it needs to be horizontal all the time. You sometimes get a scope that has a, a spirit level, uh, uh, water with a bubble in it, at the top of the scope. Other times, guys buy a... a, a a separate accessory that they attach to the scope that is also a spirit level and they can see how level the scope is before they shoot. The second thing to pay attention to is the width of your outside border, commonly referred to as the body of the scope. But you will realize when you have a scope, if you move your eye closer or further away from the scope, this border increases and decreases. Again, you need to find what works for you. I like to have a little bit of a border, not as thick as this one. Other people like to just basically see an outside line. Because this border will ensure that you are looking straight through your scope. If a part of the border is a little bit thinner than another part of the border, you realize that your scope is slanted a little bit. So in other words, you're not looking straight down your scope, you've got the scope turned just a little bit and you are aiming through it like that. Oh, excuse my uh, skew fingers, but yeah, that's just the picture. So two things, make sure it is 100% horizontal, make sure that the body of the scope or the outside border of the scope is also same thickness the whole time.
And then it's the same as uh, an open sight. Every time you squeeze the trigger, you need to have that sight picture before you let the shot go. If you are a little off, obviously your grouping is not going to be as tight as you want it. Every time if I squeeze my trigger and the shot goes, this is what I'm going to see. This is what I'm going to get. And then if you have a, a, an accurate rifle, all your shots will fall into the green or the orange. So guys, do you understand why consistency is such a buzzword when it comes to accuracy? If you have the same sight picture the whole time, your groups will shrink. You will be more proud of your accuracy. So in my fifth video, my last video, I'm going to look at how important it is on how to use your whole body to aim the rifle and how to get your breathing right. So until then, if you liked my video, please subscribe, please like, please give me some comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you all of the best. May you be safe. May you enjoy time with your family. Please uphold the laws of your country. I hope to see you on the shooting range soon. God bless. Bye-bye.